By the way, if you want to watch the full versions of our Let's Watch videos, check out my Patreon. YouTube usually blocks most of our full uploads, so if you want to see the uncut versions, they're uploaded there. So please consider supporting us on Patreon. All right, back to the video. Um, okay. Cool. So we're going to watch a bunch of indie animated stuff today in the effort of providing some, you know, commentary, thoughts, uh, but most uh, importantly, want to really, you know, direct people towards it. And we're open to folks uh, suggesting things. We already have a bit of an itinerary for this evening. Before, yeah, we've got a few things. Well, before we go any further, uh, how's our audio coming through? I got my microphone like right here next to my mouth. So I wasn't sure how... Um, how about you can receiving us as far as our audio goes? Can you talk? How are you receiving me? How uh, receive me? Um, oh. <laughs> uh, um. Looking at the chat. A thumbs up here from Ben Walter. Can the indie animation be quite old? I, I don't mind. Sure. As uh, long as one that. Oh, I'm a little quiet. I'll put the microphone. No, I, 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 can, I can turn it a little bit too. All right. Do another, do another talk. I can talk. I can sing. Doctor says. Dr. I can says. go. Yep, 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 yep. From chimpan a, chimpan a to chimpanzee. What a <laughs> what an excellent line. Mm. We had a talk recently about how we um or how I thought dollary dues in Al in uh, not Alabama. Oh yeah, this is Australia. Funny. In Alabama. Alabama currency, another country. No, um, how uh, dollary dues? I thought that actually was the name of the currency for Australia. I was watching Bluey. And I was like, yeah, dollar reduce. And it's like, no, it's... it's and I was like, no, that's just a joke that came from The Simpsons. It is not real. I mean, I, I could have fooled me. Dollar reduce. I wish they were called dollar reduce. <laughs> um, the Pizza Horse said that the audio doesn't sound good in the VODs. I, I think that was that one yeah. time. That was... Uh, I, it's I happened a few times, I think. At least really? in clips. Yeah, because usually we don't leave the VODs up until they go up on YouTube or Patreon. But I've noticed in clips, uh, oftentimes your voice will come through just fine. But God. my voice and or like guest voices are so, so, so quiet that they don't even register. That's I don't odd. know why. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to switch from Streamlabs to OBS. And apparently that, that fixes things quite a bit with better audio interface. So hopefully that will be better. Um Oh, by the way, so Kit Kat's saying I've been drawing Pride Chibis. I'm doing one of both of you. Hell yeah. Yeah, tag Aww, away. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, and happy Pride Month, folks, for those. Happy Pride Month. I was going to say, those who celebrate, like, it's like some kind of, like, <laughs> you know, it's like Hanukkah or something. Sorry. <laughs> happy Pride Month. Um, okay. Well, no, Pizza Horse, I, I, I appreciate you letting us know. That's... Um, that's weird. Uh, that's a t I've been wanting to overhaul Twitch and its interface quite a bit. Um, which I'll do, I'll do here in the later half of the year. It's It's been a long time coming, but for now, we'll just keep rocking with what we got. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, okay. So we're going to start with the recent mini episode of Lack of Daisy. Yes, and then uh, on top of that, we have the... Here, I'm trying to pull up some other things here that we'll be checking out. I've not seen Ramshackle yet. I haven't seen it yet either. There's also Port by the Sea. Port by the Sea. We're going to watch that one. Somewhere. Sorry, I opened up uh, Ramshackle. Port by the Sea, I've not seen yet. I mean, there's a lot of things I'm far I'm behind excited. on. I know. We haven't done an indie animation stream in a really long time. I don't know why this stuff starts like halfway through. I haven't seen it yet. Port by the Sea. We'll start with those three. Okay. All right, chat. Here we go. We're going to be. Oh, Box Assess. I've not seen that yet either. Uh, mm -hmm. I heard of it, though. All right, here we go. This is uh, the mini episode of Lanka Daisy. Ingenue. Ingenue. Is that French? It is French. It's like, what does it mean? It just means like innocent girl, I think. The sort of young, naive girl. God, Lanka Daisy is so unique. Oh, it's so freaking beautiful. Aww. You can fit a goddamn circus in there. Can some... I not keep it? <laughs> I wish. Uh, this one's for your Uncle Atlas's stable. We'll take the train back. Oh. You like the train. It's a cute haircut. Like one is just you and me. So cute. Victor, All their little outfits. 
so Killer detailed, Joe. so simple. Hey, just the style of this entire brother. universe is just fantastic. Oh, one of the best. New Year's? I, I know, I know. It's Effie, she's, uh... We'll talk later. <clears throat> Atlas. <laughs> That's a cool name. What a cool looking character. Such an enigma. <laughs> we really never learn much about this guy. Maybe, at least currently. Right. Look at this prize. Maybe he'll be revealed as time goes on, probably. Oh, maybe. Oh, it's you. Joe. Mordecai. Ah, you the best kitty. for the cafe? Yes. Uh, Prosy, these ranges no, really good. Yeah, I, I love his broken? voice. Can I see you are entirely too close. Okay, can you stop real quick? Yes. What? Rewind a smidge when she starts walking towards him. Okay. Yes. I love how. Look at how she like leads with her head. No, it's, that's none of your concern. Is it broken? <laughs> I really, really, really like that. So much personality in that little walk. Is that gun 3D? Uh, it might be. Maybe it just helps. Uh, to turn slightly, or it could just be super detailed and really well. Like the compositing is so lovely. The gun looks very detailed too. That's cool. No, I, I uh, real fast for Prozidi. I remember um, I saw him at MomoCon for a second. I walked past him when I was going up the escalator, and you know, listening to him in like Delicious and Dungeon, which we finished the first season. Um, he he's got some range. That 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 guy is definitely. It, it seems so funny that I think he started off as like a Vine star, or at least that's how he really got his like online launch or springboard. And then, um, yeah. Uh, oh just, yeah, his little skits. Yeah, They're so funny. No, uh, Prozzi is cool. I like him. What do you need the gun for if you're just adding numbers? I subtract numbers too. That's pretty cool. What does that mean? <laughs> it's so oh, cute. No. It's precocious. <laughs> little, ch little chin. I love that. It's precocious. Oh, no. uh, that's a great face. Right yeah, they love doing that face with Mordecai. The little chin sticking out. Uh, whenever a chin shows up on a character, it just feels like, you know, a little like double chin. It cracks me up. It's precocious. Ivy Hood, I'm heading by the cafe. You want to come have a soda pop? Huh? Uh, maybe later. I'm talking to this guy. I don't know. If I was a kid, I'd be like, fuck yeah, I want a soda pop. <laughs> Her little hair locks are so, like, jiggly. I love them. And, uh, again, like, such a really cool, like, trait about her just character is, like, that tooth of hers. It's it's so unique. and, and Yeah, her just, little buck teeth. I love it. it. It works so well. It makes her character just instantly stand out to me. It's so funny that we think, like, you know, oh, we need to have perfect teeth. And it's like, you know, actually not having perfect perfect teeth having something that's a bit more wabi-sabi is can make you stand out and unique it's cool oh yes my other favorite character what you doing work what kind of work <laughs> car work looks real solid good job the claw marks why are you all so clammed up None of you talk. Like Mordecai with that busted arm. It's suspicious. <laughs> he fell down some stairs. He is a little uh, stupid. Stupid? We told him not to roller skate in the house. <laughs> he roller skates? How how cool is it that they that they do these shorts? Like well, cool world building. It's a good way to keep people satiated leading up to the next episode. Uh, it's just like you really have to appreciate the grind and efforts of Wacka Daisy, because like man, the the more I the more I just study two D animation, the more I'm like man, I can understand why people went three D because it's just you know it 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 is more productive. I would say. I, I guess it all depends on your scope of detail. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, once you have the 3D models, you don't have to worry about frame by frame animation. You guess... know, you just move the models around. So, you know, you don't have to worry about drawing them at a different angle. You just move the character model, which and you uh... set the camera at a different angle. Right. And I, I mean, I know, I know the same thing can be done for 2D shows that are puppets, but um, still, I just I don't know. Just yeah. see, seeing this hand drawn stuff that that just you know that's on. Yeah, it's so beautiful and so admirable yeah it's yeah like uh very unique banyo says uh there are very few short 
in 2D animation. Yeah. Which is why, you know, it's not as preferred. At least, you know, if you want to save time and money. I have a question But gosh, it's so fucking beautiful. What do you think about if they could actually, uh, there's been talk about AI programs that can, you know, just work off of keyframes and fill in the blanks. Oh, to do like in-between animation? Yes. Uh, I mean, that's the cool thing about 2D animation. When you see all the imperfections, it's how you know each frame was drawn by hand, which I think makes it really special. And uh, not that I necessarily advocate for this, but the idea of AI doing in-betweens, it sucks because it's like that's obviously stealing animated jobs if that were to ever happen. But as a person who is a very lazy animator personally, I'm like, eh, I don't know. I might be kind of interested to see uh, some sort of AI program do the in-betweens for me. Uh, but that's just me speaking as a very lazy animator, where I'm just like, oh, that sounds kind of cool. But now I truly hate the idea that it could happen and it would steal people's jobs. Uh, yeah. And again, you, you lose that human touch. Um, so yeah, not that I, I, I advocate for it. I don't, and I'm not for it. But you know, I will admit that the idea, I can see why people would find it quite tempting. I find that it would be used in a way where it's not done for the sake of like artistic efficiency, as much as companies saying we can save a lot of money doing this. And it's like, oh well, you know, because at least in like the hands of artists, they can still like. Like you said, uh, in the in-betweens, you can still have those little imperfections or even personality. Um, but I guess in AI, it, it would be just a soulless you know, process. But that's that weird thing about AI is where it finds itself in the zone of like, well, you know, is it is this damaging or is it improving? You know, like uh, the same way that cars removed horses in a way. I, I know that's a very broad stroke of a comment huh. right there. A very broad stroke. But like, well, what, what's considered like? No, this is a good improvement versus no, this is this is done for the sake of destroying lives and people. I think AI can be used, can be used as a tool, and I think it can be to artists' benefit. But it it's really miserable that it, you know, it works off of stealing other people's hard work. Right. Um, like someone in the chat, let me see. Ooh. Said uh. KitKat101 said, what if you teach the AI, the AI with your own art only? Um, so, like, imagine there's a tool that's like, I can do the in-betweens for your animation, and I will build off of your art, off of your keyframes that you personally draw and put into the program. I don't necessarily think that that's as bad as, like, AI-generated art, which is obviously just pulling from multiple things right, from other right. people's art. That's stealing. Uh, I, in those ways like that, I think AI could be used as a tool uh yeah you you lose that human touch and it's entirely possible that it just won't look good like someone else in the chat said there's no way ai could ever do like a smear frame it's like no you need the human touch to do something well said simply, i think i have something here um, so yeah. we can watch this afterwards uh someone someone sent this to me it's a website and it's a good way to compare and contrast you know things that are worthy of praise and lifting up like indie, indie animation here that we have for tonight versus this YouTube channel where, or not YouTube, I'm sorry, this website called Showrunner. Um, this website is, uh, let me see if I can find it here. Uh, introducing the first slate, uh, uh, the first slate, the first ever AI TV, sorry, typos, AI TV shows created by filmmakers and content creators using Showrunner technology, ushering uh -huh. in a new era of, enter of entertainment and storytelling these groundbreaking shows promise to captivate, move, and inspire coming soon. And you got a couple of things already, and one of them is the South Park clone. I haven't watched it yet. We'll watch it here afterwards. This is, this is made by AI? It's a prompt. Okay. Yeah, oh. I'd like to watch. Well, so are we going to are we gonna do like a palate cleanser? Let's do that. We'll do, like, we'll do some shit AI, then a good animated short. Yes, yes. The good stuff, and then, you know, getting punched right in the gut. All right, here we go. All right, let's finish this, because this is That's a fucking well. work of art. Yes. This can only come from humans. Wait, I want to hear that little war? kitty growl. No. Did you lose your eye in the war? Did it get blown up? No. It's Malfunction. Yeah, cute. <laughs> You're a bad liar. I like the, 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 the music in the background. 
Cute. face right there. <laughs> You're a bad liar. Really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's me looking at my ear thumbnails. Do I scream scoop? No, how to lie? Cute. I like how you can tell too. Victor is what younger you here. Joke? Yes. There was a boy who ran to his mom shot. I mean, they're all obviously younger, but I. No, you have well, to go. The design reflects it so well. Right. What's dangerous? Uh, sharp, heavy things, tools. Go. <laughs> Yee. Great sound design. Oh, perfect here. This is a really cool era too. Mm -hmm. It's a really Boys. unique setting. Over here, where the light's good. Miss Ivy, sweetheart, you stand right in front here. Victor, come on. Atlas being like a black and white tiger. Yeah. It's like there's no color. It kind of makes him look like a ghost. I was which I'm just sure thinking that. Oh, I was just thinking that. <laughs> no, Sorry, I'm, not, Ivy. I'm not even joking. <laughs> here, let's see if we can get the full frame here. Because I, I always saw him in photos in black and white. No, and I always thought, like, oh, well, he's actually, you know, an orange tiger, right? Right, right, right. He's not. But no, he's well. black and white. So he's already, you know, so ghostly. Yeah, I was just Period. thinking of this, even with his outfit, it's very gray. His whole outfit, it's all black and white. I guess he's got the yellow in his eyes, but yeah. it's a void of color. Yeah, everybody else has a lot more color to their to their design, but for him, it's it's not saying it's a bad thing. It's just something that, you know, caught your eye, caught my eye. I, it was, I was just thinking that. I'm like, he almost seems like he's dead in a way. Which and, he is. Yeah. I mean, at least that's how the show starts. As The story starts as he's already dead. Yeah. Good, good observation. <laughs> Sweetheart, yeah. you stand right in front here. Victor, come on. Isn't <laughs> talking a lie there. You're robbers or gangsters or something? <laughs> well, I won't rat on you. If you give me a quarter. Now who is gangster? What happens to the brother, too? I'm curious. I know, I, I never... I'm sure they did have the brother mentioned at least once in the comic. It's been so long since I went through the comic. I have the first two books. I need to go through them again. I don't remember what happened to him. Cool. This is so good. Uh, it's not her dad, right? I'm pretty sure it's her older brother. I thought it was her brother. I thought so too. Well, he seems so young. Yeah. Pretty music. So lovely. It's me, uh, over the food. garden. Uh, over the garden wall vibes. Oh, for sure, a hundred percent. Which I know is a different era, but still, they they're closer to each other. This is like what nineteen twenties, <laughs> and over the garden wall I think was more like. Gosh, well, I, it, it, it was like eighteen nineteen. I, I know, I know, I know. As far as like, there's two time zones for, or time zones. Yeah, time. I know, but there's that they kind of played with. They were kind of loosey goosey with like the actual time period when. They're in the unknown. What's it's that? like I, I think they go through different eras where it's not they're all necessarily, you know, uh, during one time zone. I thought I was the someone says over the garden wall is set in a timeless realm. Oh, this is that stupid AI ghoul thing. Blech, hold on. Um. Yeah, everyone's answering like you know it's it's. Eighteenth uh, or sorry. Nineteen nineties. Nineteenth century century. I mean, like the present day. Oh, I know. For, Wharton Greg is like 90s, I'd say. Maybe, 80s, but like when maybe, they're in maybe. the unknown, when they're in the unknown, it's like the 19th, maybe even 18th century. What's happening in the unknown here? Well, uh, the unknown and over the garden wall is a place that seems to be lost in time. So maybe, maybe it is. It, it gave me vibes to like the late 1800s and like the very early 1900s. Um, because you have riverboats and um, farms. <laughs> 